The end was never our creation. It was there all this time. All we did was tempt it. The same way a surfer tempts fate. Or tempts a shark by trying to outswim it. <laughs> a for effort. We crafted spears against beasts, built walls against spears, ladders against walls, and towers against ladders. After that, we built boats, ramparts, chimneys, shaving foam pie catapults, and when all our trash threatened to swallow even our highest spires, we built... a spaceship. Powered by nothing less than the destruction of our own planet. The preparations took decades. What was meant to be an ark became a home. My home, Elysium. None of us ever thought there were thousands of clueless survivors down in that trash. How Bastion of Hope became a herald of doom for Deponia. Fortunately, the tables turned. One of those clueless people foiled the plan. <laughs> He saved Deponia and all who were left behind. And he saved me by falling for me. Literally. The end. Oh! Oh, you don't like this ending? Still hoping for something more... upbeat? Well, it's like I said. Endings and sharks. Don't tempt them. Though... I gotta admit, even after all this time, I, I keep asking myself, if I was able to turn back time, what would I change? What would be the better ending? Or do I just want it to never end? This place was pure hell. <laughs> Who am I kidding? Where was it these days? I had to leave old Jeremiah behind. His own damn fault. I have to give it to him. He was as fast as they came at changing a tire. But he was too damn slow at getting me a slushy. At least we shook those ravening few locks.
Much as I loved my homemade flamethrower, the blowtorch was a hell of a lot more efficient. I'd already wasted years trying to patch things up somehow, but to hell with that. The Organon had sealed the door to the blast tower. As if to say, if anyone is going to blow this planet to hell, then it's going to be us. What a joke. <laughs> Some punk had sprayed no hope on the blast tower door. <laughs> Tell me something I don't know. Nothing. The Organon had sealed the door to the blast tower. As if to say, what a joke. The Organon had sealed at what it. I'd already wasted you, but that. The bolt didn't look like you could saw through it, but I got this far and I was going to finish it to the end. release the bomb clamps in countless blast towers all over Deponia. Chill ran down my spine when I saw the bomb. Now they just snow in my hood. There it lay in the 
snow. Broken, burnt out, and shattered. Elysium. Symbol of hope. <laughs> Talk about kitsch. Yeah. <laughs> I guess that's it. The end of... Frog in my throat. <laughs> the end of the road for me. Huh? Oh, typical. Even Armageddon is rusted over. Just you wait. Like the thing is not dead and didn't run into a brick wall and fulfilled already. Let me help you fill that gap in memory. Living in the waste was not to your taste, but soon you will gaze truth straight in the face. All rivers run eventually to the sea. At the stage, it's evident there will be no happy end. Suck it up, princess. No one cares for your tears. It's over, and I've no dance to give for second thoughts that you're stuck with. Looking for loopholes and wondering what if. All my friends were dead, and Elysium had fallen from the sky. Also, I blew the pony up. God, talk about sick. I mean, a mustache? Really? Ah, luckily, everything's the way it was before. I can hardly wait to tell my sweet Tony about it. Huh, the fire's gone out. No wonder I was dreaming about nuclear winter. Bubble wrap from the post office. What was I gonna do with it again? Yeah, whatever. I'll just leave it here until I remember what I wanted it for. Sweet! The balloon filled with gas while I slept. Now, all I have to do is adjust the flame, and then it's to Elysium and beyond! Tony won't believe her eyes. <laughs> I better get her crystal glasses packed. Not that anything would happen to them. True. The last thing I need on my balloon is ballast. No, I've been practicing the lasso number long enough. The next time I throw out a loop, then it'll be to catch something. If Tony didn't want her glasses broken, then why did she pile them up like that? Tempting. But the new and improved Rufus no longer throws junk at his girlfriend's crystal glasses. Time to get to work. No, stop! 
This seems vaguely familiar somehow. That's exactly the way things happened in my dream. I had forgotten the bubble wrap, and that's when everything went to pieces. Tony was so angry that we broke up. And then I uncovered an organon conspiracy and started a revolution? Well, note to self, stay away from sampling the adhesives before bed. These cryptic signs have been becoming more and more common lately, and for some reason, they always seem to crop up around me. To Elysium! Huh? What now? Oh, damn! The stove is still out! How stupid of me. And I wanted to take Tony with me, too. I have enough tinder, and maybe some fireworks for effect. These visions aren't all bad. I should become a prophet! Nina, Nina, let me through! I'm a prophet! <laughs> huh? Hey, stop! Oh boy, somehow my vision missed this. Hey, you! Hello! You can't park here! <laughs> hey! You there! Is this your pile of junk? Please keep away from it. And from me too, for that matter. I'm not even meant to be here. Oh, yeah? Well, I couldn't agree more. But since you're here... What have you done? I'm not allowed to talk about that, it's... One minute, what did I just do? You destroyed my girlfriend's glasses when you parked! Heavens to Betsy! Do you know what that means? I have possibly triggered a catastrophe of apocalyptic proportions! Yeah, but she usually calms down after a couple of days. You misunderstand me! I'm talking about ash rain, magma flows, perpetual darkness! Yeah, that sounds about right. You've met Tony. Got it. But that doesn't make those glasses whole again. You're right. I must do something. After all, you're the one who ruined them. Let me think. Think faster. There's one possibility, but it would be very dangerous. Yikes! You don't mean... Yes. There's no choice. Don't be a fool. There must be another solution. If there is, I can't think of it. I fear my decision is final. I will... No! Turn back time. No! You... What? Oh, I thought you wanted to apologize. But your suggestion sounds better. Good thinking. Bravo. Uh, perhaps you didn't understand me correctly. I said that I'm going to travel back in time. Yep, go ahead. Super plan. But you aren't surprised at all? You must have a million questions, surely. Oh. Uh, okay. What's the square root of 237169? 487. But I actually meant another sort of question. One where the solution isn't so obvious, I know. What happened to no contact? Well, it's a bit late for that now. The unspeakable has occurred. But we can make it unoccur if we follow my plan. Bring rubber boots back into fashion? Nonsense. I mean... Turn back time! Say, do you keep hearing that strange sound too? Who are you anyway? My name is McChronicle. I work at Junk Trade University in Porto Rustica. You're a professor? Of what? Stupid hats? My area of expertise is temporal physics. I'm researching anomalies in the fourth axis of space-time. Really? Then you can probably answer a time-related question for me. Very possibly. When, dear Mr. McComicon? Yes? When? When did I ask you for your life story? Well, what do you mean, turn back time? As I said, 
I have invented a device which can avoid accidents after they've happened. It saves an image of the space-time before I reverse park. You invented a time machine and used it as a parking assistant? You, Macrona Crispies, are a four-dimensional wuss. Actually, I really shouldn't be using it. Just imagine if this technology were to get into irresponsible hands. Yes, that would be bad. Where do I turn this thing on? I should never have come here. A mistake easy to correct. By my turning this crank here? No! Wait! Nina, Nina, let me through! I'm a prophet! <laughs> huh? What's this little itch on my fontanelle? Could it be the synaptic sensation of my remembering things that haven't happened yet? Yoo-hoo! Mr. Rufus! Huh? What? Wait a minute. I know you. You're Mr. Macronicle. Macronicle? But that means you remember? You bet I remember. You're the one who ran over the glasses. Astounding. Not half as astounding as your lousy face furniture. But while we're on the topic of astounding, how the hell is all this possible? Let's talk about that in a minute. Could you help me to park first, please? I don't want to repeat performance of that little episode just now. Not just now. You mean soon. No. It would have been just now, right now. Oh, great. This could turn out to be another one of those days. You ready? Sure. What the hell? Hit it! Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Yeah, come on. Come on. Yeah, that's it. That's it. That's come on. Come on. Come on. Ha! What? Didn't I just see an elephant? Something strange is going on here. Huh? What? Oh no, not again! Well, did it work? No, you ran over the glasses again. Well, why didn't you shout stop? I was distracted. Um, apropos, you didn't happen to see a pink elephant, did you? Have you been drinking? Strictly speaking, lots, yes. But it doesn't mix with my medication. So it would appear. Yes, my reflexes are way below standard. Otherwise, the elephant would never have gotten away from me. Now, where's the stupid thing hiding? What? Burnet has already closed up? Ah, oh, I wanted emergency flares in case my highly flammable gas balloon catches fire. Oh, oh, never again. You hear that, Tuck? Never ever again. Oh, who am I kidding? Everything comes back eventually. <laughs> and there we go. Hi, Tuck. And a lovely day to you, too. So that last Nat's piss was a little off, was it? It's always the last tricks of Nat's piss that are the worst. Well, maybe you just don't know when it's time to stop. Do you know then? Ha! Huh, I always thought it was when you feel things couldn't get any better. Oh, oh, yeah. Good luck with that, buddy. The pitcher goes up to the mouth until one buckles. Believe me, it's always the last bottle of Nat's piss that finishes you off. Do you know anything about visions? You mean stuff like pink elephants? I always thought that was a bit of a dumb cliché. But there really is one of those about the place today. Yeah, anyone can do pink elephants. I saw the future. Nice for you. Not even close. It's gonna be terrible. Uh, oh, you're probably right. I'm dreading tomorrow morning, too. I have to prevent my vision of the future from becoming reality. Professional advice? Loads of alcohol. 
reliably helps against even the most stubborn futures. I saw the pink elephant, too. Really? Yep. A real pain in the butt. It keeps distracting me every time I try to save Tony's glasses. That means that I'm not a complete idiot after all. Look, I wouldn't be jumping to any hasty conclusions if I were you. Do you know where I can find Tony? She's in Lonzo's bar. Unbelievable that she managed to beat me at Down in One. At Lonzo's? That means I have to go through the entire idiot parade. You got a barbecue Thursday hangover too? <laughs> I understand completely. Luckily, one doesn't get asked to square dance with six stuck to one's face. Will you help me scare the pink elephant off? It's gone already! I don't mean now, but... Earlier. You want me to help you chase away an elephant from your past? <laughs> Been there, done that, got the medal. I got exactly the same problem with my wife, Trudy. My strategy? <laughs> Drink to forget. Well, completely wrong. The trick, in fact, is to remember when time repeats itself. Huh? How am I meant to remember something that hasn't even happened yet? <laughs> easy. You just have to, uh, yeah, yeah, so, uh, how does that actually work? I should probably ask McChronicle about that. You do that. Stay vertical. Draw me a sketch. He's coming! Everyone in position! And then, just as we practice, I don't want to see any naked flames near Rufus. May Tetanus be with us. Hello, stranger. New in town? But Rufus, I attend the Barbecue Thursday Festival every year. Oh, yeah. <laughs> right. And your name is? Zoon, current grill champion from Sierra Benzoli. Sierra Benzoli? Well, I always thought that place only had three inhabitants. It, which doesn't mean that the title wasn't hotly contested. Fuego and Petro are also very skilled in handling methylated spirits. Shame that they weren't able to compete this year. Let me guess, an accident at work? Let's just say they should have made the shish kebabs with much more shish and a lot less kebab. So, what's tasty today? What do you think? Barbecue Thursday is Groundhog Day. Wasn't Rampage Monday always Groundhog Day? No, Barbecue Thursday, I'm quite sure. Huh, well, I'll pass, just the same. I'm just not big on leftover plot ID, uh, groundhogs. What's all this nonsense with the lights and the barbecues? It's what they call Barbecue Thursday. I'm talking about you guys always turning off both whenever I get close. Oh, that's perfectly normal. Fire prevention measures. Don't worry about it. I wasn't planning on it. Do you know how to catch an elephant? Of course. Why do you think I've got an elephant gun back there? I thought it was to show off. Uh, that too, but elephant hunting is a great tradition for us. It goes back to the days when Hannigal and Hunnigus both got the idea of riding over the Amalgalps. I thought they were only looking for fillings for tusks. Which probably didn't make the meeting of their armies any less bloody. <laughs> As you probably know, there's nothing more dangerous than an elephant with a toothache. Can I borrow your elephant gun? No! I only loan it out to other big game hunters. I happen to be a big game hunter. Ha! <laughs> if you were a big game hunter, then you would know that elephants are child's play. Much too easy to hit. Professionals hunt small animals. Ducks! Or rats. A gun like this won't do for them. You need something like a high-precision blowpipe for that. Much more precise. Unfortunately, I'm clean out of darts. And blowpipes. And bees for the nerve poison. Can you build me a high-precision blowpipe? Depends. Are you a licensed big game hunter yet? Uh, yes. Then show me your license or take a hike. Oh, come on, please. Lend me the elephant gun. I said no. I only loan it out to other big game hunters. Well then, bye barbecue. Yeah, whatever. Can I borrow your elephant gun? No! 
I happen. Ha! Much professional gun. You need much unfortunate and. and Wenzel? Is that you? I thought you were a jack-o'-lantern. Honest. Very funny! But great to see that you decided to join in with Barbecue Thursday after all. The hell I did. I'm just here to pick Tony up. Oh yes, the balloon. Have you really thought that one through? I know. A week in a confined space with her might make me suicidal, but I'm pretty sure it wouldn't be good for our relationship if I left the planet without her. I just meant whether you're sure about going through with the whole thing. You've split once before. If your plan fails again, you could break more than just the altimeter, or your nose, or the roof of the kindergarten. Don't worry, little man. This time, I've thought of everything. I didn't even bother to install an altimeter, for example. Tony trusts me, and rightly so. You'll see. The barbecues go out whenever I get close. <gasps> that can only mean one thing. I'm even cooler than I thought. My name is Leonardo Alfonso Miguel Garcia de... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Rat Boy works. No one can remember all that nonsense. Nonsense? My name has won prizes. Rat, 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 rat. He's the rat boy. Oh, why is everyone so mean? to me. No! <laughs> Aren't you allowed to play with the other rats? If, if, if you mean the rotten fruit cane, I'd love to, but I'm still too young. That's right, Rufus. The rotten fruit game can only be played by adults. Did I step in a cricket nest or something? I keep hearing this chirruping from somewhere around my ankle. Huh, the last bees in the southern quadrant at a barbecue Thursday celebration near you for the last 20 years. If this keeps up, humanity will die out before the bees. Well then, let the games begin. Do you have someone to play against? Oh yeah, I knew there was something. Then explain it to me again. What exactly do you see in that fool, huh? Rufus, he's not the right man for you. Is he even a man, huh? I'd say he's more a complete loser. Shut your trap, Lotto. Nah, he's got no job, no manners, and the biggest thing he hasn't got, a future. I'm warning you, Lotto, don't diss my friend. Ah, oh, come on, Tony. Do you really trust in that good for nothing? You heard Tony, Lotto. Leave her in peace. No, I want to know. Do you really believe he's going to get you two to Elysium? Huh? You're more likely to see me in a dress. <laughs> for the last time, Lotto, shut your mouth. You could have the pick of anyone, Tony. If only you'd open your eyes, you would see this. This here is a man. A real man. Lotto, please. A manly, beardy man. The furniture is brand new. How about it? You want to touch my beard? Huh? Chickadee, chickadee. Uh, funny, I have this twinge in my leg. I wonder if that means we're gonna have a storm. Lotto, what happened to you? You can. You can. You can call me Lottie from now on. Hey, Lotto. Call me. <coughs> call me Lottie.
Who did this to you? What do you mean, who did this to you? I feel completely liberated. It's as if I've been trapped in an ugly great cocoon of ice for years. And now I've finally melted and been reborn as a beautiful blue whale butterfly. <laughs> butterfly. <laughs> That's exactly what I meant to say. Right. Later, Gator. Uh, <clears throat> oh, <laughs> I meant, of course, uh, my deepest respect, ma'am. Toodle-o! And... <laughs> wow! Bullseye! That's won you the darts championship. Here. Take the first prize. Prize? Oh boy, what is it? A power inverter. <laughs> Great. Hi there, Snuggle Bunny. What did we agree about Snuggle Bunny? That uh, she's a choleric little viper with a delectable derriere? I was trying to make the point that I didn't want you giving me a pet name. However, Good answer. Do you have any idea what happened to Lotto? Let's just say he went a step too far. Yeah, I keep saying that kind of thing can end up badly, but you still insist that I take out the garbage. I meant that figuratively. What? Uh, wait, that was you? Why? He said some ugly things. Ugly duckling ugly or your mama ugly? Huh? I'm beginning to think I hit the wrong one. About your crystal glasses. Oh yeah, I gotta pack those as well. Did you get the bubble wrap? Well, yeah, but... But? I I I'll take care of the glasses. Rufus, we've already been over this. That's a task which is no match for your abilities. What do you mean? Well... You'll break them. Ha! <laughs> That's absurd! <laughs> and even if I did, I'd find a way to undo it. You always want the impossible. But you lay one finger on my glasses and you'll have overstepped the line. Understood? I totally forgot. I wanted to make room for the glasses. Just sit back down and relax while I take care of it, okay? <sighs> Just hurry up! <laughs> 